into this vortex and now select the door mesh. Go to object and select origin or set origin to the 3D cursor. Do the same to the next door and you will see that one of the handles is floating in the air. So you must just revert the parent to the main cupboard and not to the door and that will fix that. Now apply only the mirror modifiers to the door, the handle and the keyhole. Now we will have to, well, now we're just going to have to parent the handle and keyhole to the door so that it will rotate along with the door with reference of the origin that we have already fixed. Click on the object that you can have to parent and then click on the selection to which you have to parent. Then click on the control P and click on an object to parent the object to the active selection. Do the same with keyhole and the other handle. Now you can see that we can open the door and handle and the keyhole moves along with it. Oh no, we'll just have to fix the faces of the handle so that it does not have anything weird or it's not visible through the door. Just go to edit mode and select these faces and push it inwards. Do the same on the other side. Oh, I think the area light is overlapping with the mesh. Let's just move it up. Now let's add some shelves to the cupboard. I'll just go through the mesh itself of the cupboard, of course. When pressing tab, then I'll select these faces and just duplicate it by pressing shift D and then I'll press P to separate the selection. Well, now you have it separated. Then in the object mode, I will increase solidify. Well, the array modifier will be added. I will now rotate these two and add more shelves. Now I can just duplicate it again and again, it vertically also. Most skilled this down a little bit and add a material to the shelves. Going to shader editor, placing new and adding new material to it, let's give this the same texture as the wood. Now let's put some light inside the cell so that the interiors are also visible. I'll just add area light and go to the solid mode and create a cube and place it on the top of the top. To each self so that it looks like it's emitting some light from the above. Now starting with the animation, we can add camera and add empty. Parenting the camera to the empty and we will be able to control the rotation of the camera with respect to the empty. Change the shader editor to timelines and then you will see that you have a timeline from 0 to 250. Let's change it to 500. After parenting the camera to the empty, we'll just empty, well, we'll just empty it by clicking on it. And then click on I to add a keyframe for the location and rotation and empty O. Then we will go to 500 frame and we will press R, Z, 360 to rotate the empty in Z by 360 degrees. Now we will add another keyframe. Now let's increase the timeline to 800. Then we will select the camera and after 500, the camera will not be controlled by the empty because we're not adding any keyframes on empty after 500. Now if you click on the camera and we can just make the animation as per our needs, you can also copy what I'm doing. You can also press the control tab by hovering on the timeline to go to the graph editor and adjusting some curves to get the desired animation. After this, we will make the door animation so that for that, we will have to go into solid mode and make the door animation so that we can showcase the interiors of the cupboard as well. Following the same steps as we did to the empty, clicking on the door and you can just add keyframes to it. So we will add a keyframe at the first point, then we will go further, go into the frames and press R, Z and rotate the door with some value, then add some more keyframe here. Now you can see that we have the door animation and we'll also just want the lights to glow when the door is opening after a break.
So what will we do? Yeah, what we will do is just split this screen and go into the shader later. After that, we will just put a keyframe on the emission value that is into the principal BSDF of the material. Now we can just click on the keyframe and press I to add a keyframe again. So I'll just add a keyframe here and going further frames, I will add another keyframe here with the value of zero and a hundred. Or you can choose your value. So that's it for the tutorial. Now we have an amazing door animation done in Blender. I'll meet you in the other video soon. Hope you like the video. Subscribe and stay connected for more such videos. And have a great day.